Wired today have brought together so many proof points of uh, the importance of tackling climate change. Okay, we said we're gonna go carbon neutral by 2040, we're done. Okay, we can go home now, guys. It, it, it's like thinking about, well, what's gonna happen in 2024? What's gonna happen in 2025? What's gonna happen in 2026? How do we make sure people will know what's happening? But we can do this. Human beings are amazing. This is a room full of amazing people who can do amazing things. The question is, have we the will? Have we the will to do it fast enough? Today, I'm delighted to announce the launch of something called the Great British Insulation Scheme. We're committing one billion pounds to go towards roof, loft or cavity wall insulation. Today, I'm really excited to be able to share the Octopus Cozy 6. Whilst we're looking at exploring space and, and trying to go further to the Moon and Mars, it's all focused as to the benefits back on Earth as well in terms of this technology development. Wired have brought the people together today that show we've already got all the components we need for a clean energy system. Solar and wind and hydro, maybe nuclear, with batteries and electric vehicles. We have so many components. And then we can add in all the other emerging technologies that will only make it better, whether it be solar from space or nuclear fusion. As we electrify society, we open up the opportunity for upgrade after upgrade. So if you put the solar panels in space, they get sun 24 seven. They get sun 365 days a year. They actually get eight times as much energy, and then you can beam it down to earth using radio waves. What are those climate tech solutions that we can actually implement, not just to, uh, to advance uh, people's economic well-being and life quality, but also to fight climate change from, a, from pure uh, product perspective. Ukrainians immediately realize that uh, energy independence is a top priority if you want to go through a winter. People were starting to get connected to the internet, so it's 1989. Universality was really crucial, so I knew it had to be, you had to be able to use it for anything. And then it turned out, because the, the design was that it could be used for anything, it ended up being used for everything. Yeah, we do have the technologies in place to really think about ways that we can ensure that we uh, address the climate crisis. It really is a question of just deploying them more quickly uh, and ensuring that we just move capital uh, into areas where we can really have dramatic impact. Um, and that's something I think that hopefully events like today will help to uh, affect.